This afternoon, a judge sentenced Corey Fleming, the former lawyer and Murdoch conspirator from Beaufort, to nearly four years in prison. He will also have to pay money back to victims of his crimes, more than $100,000. Melissa Rademacher was in the federal courtroom today where Melissa cameras are not allowed, but you did notice something inside. The courtroom was packed nearly full today. In the room were a lot of friends and family of Corey Fleming, as well as his victims and their lawyers. It was an emotional afternoon. At one time or another, it seemed everyone had broken down into tears while they were telling the judge about how badly these financial crimes have affected each and every one of them. Today, Corey Fleming apologized to each of his victims by name, and it was through tears while he admitted in full to his wrongdoing. He also apologized to his family and friends who he says let down. Those victims also took the opportunity to turn to him and forgive him during a very emotional afternoon in the courtroom. He represented two families, the Satterfields and Pinckney's as their lawyer, and then he stole their lawsuit winnings. He took some of the money for himself and illegally gave some money to his friend, Alec Murdoch. In May, he pled guilty instead of going to trial. The prosecution admitted how helpful Fleming has been to their investigation and asked for a sentence of 46 months. That's nearly four years, which is exactly what the judge granted. Our hope is that through Mr. Fleming's example, others who are otherwise upstanding members of society will, will take this example and say no when presented with these same um, opportunities to steal money from others. And so, so that's our hope to come from today, that we will serve a general deterrence message um, to similarly situated individuals. Fleming self-surrendered at the end of today's hearing, meaning he voluntarily went into custody. The federal marshals escorted him out of the courtroom, and he'll begin serving that sentence right away. In Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.